let us look at the midpoint formula. Given two points, p sub 1 and p sub 2, given by the coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, the distance between them is given by the following formula. Now, let us first look at two examples and then go back to the derivation of this formula. Find the point between 1, 2, and 1, 7. So suppose this is 1 here. So the point 1, 2 would be about here, 1, 2. And then let's say the point 7 is right there. So this is the point 1, 7. 1, 7, 1, 2. Now we know that the midpoint of this line segment must lie here. So the X co the x coordinate must be 1. But what about the y coordinate? Well, it lies between 2 and 7, and this is just the average, the arithmetic mean of 7 and 2. 7 plus 2, 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 over 2 is just 4.5, 4.5. So this would be 4. 0.5. And yes, 2 plus 2.5 lands you there, and 4.5 plus 2.5 lands you at the point 0.17. So we're right in the middle. We found the midpoint there. Let us look at a second case. Let us fix now the y coordinate. So if we are at the point negative 1, 4, let's say it is somewhere here, if this is negative 1 and this is 4, and the point 5, 4, let's say 5, 4 is around here, the point 5, 4. So the midpoint of that line segment must lie right in here. So the y coordinate must be y. We fixed it at the beginning. And then what about the x coordinate? Where the x coordinate is just the arithmetic mean, the average of 5 and negative 1. 5 plus negative 1 over 2. That is 4 over 2, which is just 2. So this point must be the point 2, 4. And again, negative 1 plus 3 lands you there, and 2 plus 3 lands you at the point 5, 4. Great. So now let's use this to derive a formula for the general case. If we have two points, say this is p sub 1, this is x sub 1, y sub 1, and then the point p sub 2, which is given by coordinates x sub 2, y sub 2, then how can we find the coordinates of the midpoint? Well, the coordinates of that midpoint is just going to be, look at the x coordinate. It's going, it's going from x sub 1 to x sub 2. It's going from x sub 1 to x sub 2. So this is just the average, the arithmetic mean of those two quantities. And the same applies to y. y is going from y sub 1 to y sub 2. So we just take the arithmetic mean, the average of those two quantities. And that's it. Thank you.